when we need to connect the tool board. We're going to burn the USB to Ken firmware. Disadvantages may be due to the use of clipper scree. Using them together may cause errors such as return timeout. Fly us fast because of targeted optimization. Clipper screen can't turn no. Timeout or time to close kind of error. Here is the Ken board connection tutorial. You can check it if you need it. Okay, let's talk about what to prepare first. We need to prepare two USB Type-C data cables, then one piece brushed clippers host, then our main board D5. We need to test it out of the factory. We need to check the catapult firmware flushed. Let's connect the host computer to the computer first. Insert into the Type-C port of the host computer. Plug it into the USB port of the computer. Then use the USB port here to connect to the D5. The first situatio. Plug it in and the light will flash. No other operations required. Direct next step. Situation 2. There is no flashing light here after connecting. Double click the key. The lights will flash here. Description enter the cat port firmware. This is also normal. The third one, if you plug it in and double click, the light will not flash. Maybe the button is broken or no catapult firmware. Please refresh the catapult firmware. Let's start recording the tutorial. You need to use the host computer with the clipper service installed. Connect the device to the host computer. Is to connect to the computer. We've just connected. Please use a normal host computer. Like a Raspberry Pi or a Fly Pi. If it's a strange host, for example, old phone host. This kind of host computer has many problems. We cannot provide you with technical support. Please use normal normal host computer. Do not use old phone for Maku. If it is FlyOS or any other Clipper host computer. Please do not use the root user to burn the D5. But fly as fast it only accept root user. But fly us and the other computers. Please switch to normal user for burning. Then please ensure that the host computer can be connected to the internet normally. You can use Wi-Fi networking or network cable connection. Firmware before compilatio. Please use SAW to log into the host computer through the network. Please do not use the serial port to connect the host computer to burn the firmware. We need to get the internet protocol address. Connect the host computer with network. The next step is the clipper configuration and compilation page. Operating instructions. Please ensure that the input method setting is English. The top and bottom of the keyboard can be used to select menus. I will demonstrate the keyboard here. Then the QKey exits the Clipper firmware configuration page. Let's burning tutorial. Then connect to the network shand log into the host computer. Log in as root. Fly us fast password mello. M E L L O W. Enter the password. Log in successful. Let's copy this command first. Right click paste inch. Then enter. 
Okay, let's go to the next step. Let's go back and collect first one. Enter microcontroller architecture. That's the second option. Press enter to choose Statium 32F072. Next step, go to menu processor model. Select CTM 32F072 and press enter. Next step, bootloader offset. Choose 8 kilobytes bootloader. Here's the first one. To the next step. Select USB to CAN bus bridge enter. After selection, does it need to change the CAN bus interface on PB8, PB9? This is the default, no need to change it. Let's check if the selection is correct, make sure it is consistent with the image below, and then compile. Please check carefully, otherwise the burning will be unsuccessful. After checking, press the Q key on the keyboard. Pressing the Y key on the keyboard. That's it, save it and exit it. Select this string of code and right click to copy. Paste and paste in SSH, then enter. It will start compiling the firmware. Wait a minute and it will compile. Okay, the compilation is complete. Let's check if the final output is the same. The same is that the compilation is successful. After compiling the firmware, we are ready to burr. If the D5 is not connected at this time, it is necessary to use the host computer to connect to the D5, the first sequatio. Plug it in and flash the light without other operations and go to the next step directly. The second situatio. There is no flashing light here after connecting. Double click the key. The light will flash here that it has entered the catapult firmware. In the second situation, this is also normal. Situation 3. If you plug it in and double click, the light may not flash. The button is broken or there is no catapult firmware. Please rebrush the catapult firmware. Here you can jump to the catapult firmware burning tutorial. We need to enter catapult firmware mode to burr. When it comes to confirming whether to enter the burning mode, please make sure that the host computer can be connected to the internet normally, and ensure that the data cable connecting the D5 to the host computer has the function of data transmission. After she is connected to the host computer, enter LUS band enter. If the information in the picture below appears, you can proceed to the next step. If there is no feedback, this is a system problem with the host computer. There's nothing we can do. The normal system or host computer needs to be replaced. Prompt that there is no LUSP command, 
you can execute this command to install. Copy this command lusp. Go to SSH, right click paste and paste. After checking the ID, whether this string of characters is consistent, some upper level opportunities in the back are incomplete or not displayed. Networking is required when installing the burning plugin. Please ensure that your computer is connected to the internet normally. Non-fly host computer, please be sure to execute the following code to install the dependency package burned by the firmware. Otherwise, the firmware cannot be burned. Use the instructions below to search for your device ID. Then enter. Remember, you have to be catapult to burr. It's catapult on the next step. If not, deduplicate the previous steps to connect to the D5. Start burning firmware. FlyOS and other host computers, please use the above burning code. Other host computers must use the above code. You can click this button to copy. FlyOS Fast requires the following code. I installed FlyOS Fast so I will use the following code. Is the same way to do that? We copy what's in front of your main board ID. Right click paste in SSH. Then we select us be catapult and the stuff behind it for the ID we just found. Right click paste and paste, it will go directly below. Then enter. It starts burning. If it can't be burned, check if it's a problem with the data cable. Burning complete. This is the completion of burning. You can refer to the video and tutorial pictures. Then we lusp to check if the burning is successful. If the can suffix appears, the burning is successful. There are separate tutorials for connecting CAN boards and debugging, so that's where the video ends.